Hi, I'm Finn from Recall Racing, proud winners of the Aramco F1 in Schools World Championship 2023 and recipients of the Verbal Presentation Award. In this video, we'll be diving into the first section of the scorecard, engagement and presentation dynamics. First, let's talk about the script. Your script is much more than just words on a page. It's the backbone of your presentation, shaping how you connect with your audience and deliver your message. A great script does more than just organize your presentation. It grabs attention, keeps the audience entertained and delivers your message with impact. Humor, for example, can be a game changer when used thoughtfully, making your presentation memorable and easy to pay attention to. But planning for these moments is just as important as organizing transitions and timing. More about that topic in Caroline's video about time, clarity and structure. Also try alternating speakers throughout the presentation. This not only keeps the judges intrigued, but also demonstrates your team's unified understanding and collaborative effort. With a well-prepared script in hand, the next step is to bring it to life through practice and thoughtful delivery. Memorizing your script is just the beginning. Rehearse your presentation in front of teammates, friends, family, teachers, and sponsors to ensure that you are not simply reciting your text, but delivering it in a way that connects with the judges and ultimately conveys all the necessary information. We as a team, for example, used to struggle with getting our preparation started early enough. So for the World Finals, we tried organizing a feedback presentation with one of our sponsors a couple of weeks before the competition itself, which forced us to start off early and work, to work towards a fixed deadline. And don't forget to use any unallocated time when you're at the competition to again and again rehearse your presentation. That's valuable time that many forget, forget exists. As for your expression, avoid letting your hands dangle around aimlessly, as this can distract both the judges and your own teammates. Stand upright, maintain good posture, and don't forget to add a subtle smile and broadcast a positive vibe. The third tip for today is about props. Props are powerful tools for capturing attention and making complex ideas easier to understand. For instance, showcasing a scaled up version of your car or diagram can help judges visualize your design and innovation. The presentation screen should be used strategically, not as a teleprompter, but as a visual aid to complement your spoken words. Thus, avoid packing your slides with text. Instead, focus on clean visuals, diagrams, or short phrases that reinforce your points. As for our very own presentation, we never use text on our own slides once to convey any additional information. Now let's move to the no-go's. One thing you should avoid doing is looking at the screen or the script. It's tempting to glance at your slides or notes, but doing so distracts from your connection with the judges. Eye contact is crucial. Trust me or trust us. Instead of looking at the screen, focus on engaging directly with the people in the room. Practice enough that you're familiar with your content and don't need to rely on those visual aids. And finally, teamwork and coordination. Interrupting your teammates or speaking over them signals disorganization and lack of preparation. Plan your presentation so that transitions between speakers are smooth and natural. And while spontaneity can in some instances add energy, it should never come at the expense of clarity and structure. Each presenter should know their role and stick to the agreed timing, creating the impression of a unified, well-rehearsed team. So, in a nutshell, write your script carefully and strategically. Rehearse it thoroughly to ensure confident delivery and use visuals and teamwork to create a polished, engaging presentation. With all that in mind, you are well prepared for your start, for your preparations. Good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out over on Instagram.